As the privatization of space exploration continues to advance, SpaceX, the pioneering aerospace company founded by Elon Musk, has become a leader in the development of innovative rocket technology and ambitious missions to colonize Mars. Alongside the public's fascination with these advancements, there has been a growing interest in reports of unidentified objects spotted in the vicinity of SpaceX missions. Since the company's inception, there have been several instances of mysterious aircraft sightings reported during SpaceX missions. These sightings have ranged from mysterious lights and unexplained objects, seen near rocket launches, to unidentified craft observed near the International Space Station during SpaceX resupply missions. One of the most widely discussed sightings happened on April 19th, when a strange black triangle was seen in the background of the Starlink mission, which led to a flurry of social media posts and speculations about advanced visitors. Shortly after the launch, observers spotted the black triangle in the background, and theories were soon put forward to explain what the object was. Although SpaceX didn't respond to this sighting, in the past, officials said that these objects are likely space debris. Many of these sightings associated with SpaceX missions have been debunked by experts who provide plausible, natural explanations for the observed phenomena. These explanations often involve atmospheric and lighting conditions, space debris, or other human-made objects in Earth's orbit. While some sightings can be readily explained by natural phenomena or human activity, others remain unexplained and continue to generate debate among enthusiasts and researchers. The growing interest in sightings related to SpaceX missions has several implications for the public's perception of unidentified phenomena and the possibility of advanced life. As private space exploration becomes more commonplace, the general public has greater access to information and visual media related to rocket launches and other space missions, increasing the likelihood of witnessing and reporting unusual phenomena. Additionally, the association of sightings with cutting-edge space technology and missions such as those conducted by SpaceX, can fuel the public's curiosity and speculation about the existence of extraterrestrial life and advanced civilizations. This interest is further amplified by the recent declassification of footage and reports by the United States government, which has led to increased public discourse and debate about unidentified aerial phenomena. As of right now, these sightings that have been captured during SpaceX missions represent a fascinating intersection of public interest in cutting-edge space exploration and the ongoing debate surrounding unidentified phenomena. While many of these sightings can be debunked through careful analysis and expert explanations, some remain unexplained, continuing to captivate the imaginations of enthusiasts and the general public alike. As private space exploration continues to advance, it is likely that interest in mysterious aircrafts will increase. NASA's Webb delivers deepest infrared image of universe yet. The James Webb Telescope also captured an infrared image of SMACS 0723, which is a galaxy cluster filled with a myriad of various galaxies. The JWST went a step further by highlighting some of the faintest objects in space ever captured. Granted, the image taken is nothing but a tiny part of a huge universe a small snapshot into the distant unknown. The reason behind the choice of capturing a galaxy cluster is that clusters act somewhat like magnifying glasses. They help astronomers find galaxies even further away. Some of these distant galaxies witnessed the universe's infancy billions of years ago. The JWST used its NearCam to create the image utilizing a composition of varying wavelengths. It took just over 12 hours to produce, and the results outshine even the amazing images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope, many of which take several weeks to complete. SMACS 0723 was captured by the James Webb Telescope in the exact same beauty it possessed over 4.6 billion years ago, a live reflection from the past. This galaxy cluster can be observed from the south in the direction of the constellation Volans. There is still not much known about the galaxies in the cluster, but scientists hope to uncover more as the JWST's data is processed. The image produced by the James Webb Telescope focuses on tiny clusters of stars that are typically overlooked or overshadowed in images taken of space 
but the JWST image showcases all the tiny features of the galaxy cluster that have never been seen prior. The light we see is reflected from billions of years ago. We see these galaxies as they were long before the rise of humanity on Earth because the light takes so long to reach us. When looking at the image, we see youthful galaxies, some of which formed not long after the Big Bang itself. Scientists hope to discover individual galaxies in the cluster's masses. Chemical compositions, ages, and personal histories, every galaxy has a story to tell that astronomers hope to uncover and piece together. Space dust is prevalent in the image and encases our cosmos in colors of all sorts, highlighting the glorious beauty and glamour of our cosmos for how otherworldly it is. Dust is crucial in the creation of stars, but some galaxies, such as blue ones, possess very little of it. Red galaxies, in comparison, have a plentitude of this star-creating dust, while green galaxies generally are mostly filled with chemical compounds such as hydrocarbons. All this amazing research will shed light on how galaxies form and why they are this way, including insight into how they merge, expand, and thrive. Perhaps scientists might use this information to answer the question of why some galaxies cease star production entirely. The James Webb Telescope has captured 48 different galaxies at once using its near-infrared spectrograph. Astronomers detect secret water reserves in the solar system's largest canyon. Valles Marineris, also known as the Grand Canyon of Mars, is the largest canyon in our solar system. But Valles Marineris attracts scientific curiosity for more than just its size. The 2,485-mile-long canyon system may also be home to hidden reserves of water. Recent data from an instrument known as the ESA Roscosmos ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter's friend shows abnormal hydrogen levels below Mars's surface. Unlike previous instruments, FRIEND, which stands for Fine Resolution Epithermal Neutron Detector, can detect neutrons up to a meter below the surface of Mars. According to physicist Alexei Malakov, neutrons are produced when highly energetic particles known as galactic cosmic rays strike Mars. Low neutron levels indicate the presence of hydrogen. Because dry soil emits more neutrons than wet soil, the number of neutrons emitted by soil beneath Mars's surface can indicate levels of water. Between May 2018 and February 2021, Friend collected the data that indicates high concentrations of subsurface hydrogen. It suggests that soil up to a meter deep in the Valles Marineris region contains water that is either locked inside minerals or ice. Because it is unusual for minerals in this region to contain large amounts of water, experts believe that water ice near the surface is the more probable explanation. If the hydrogen is truly forming water molecules, this suggests that water makes up up to 40% of the area close to the surface in the region. This watery area is roughly the size of the Netherlands. This discovery is unexpected, as the pressure and temperature around the Mars equator does not create a suitable environment for large stores of water. The presence of water in Valles Marineris suggests unusual conditions, possibly relating to the angle of its slopes. The water may also be sitting in scattered ancient deposits. This discovery of water is fascinating because of its surprising location, but this is not the first reserve found on the planet. It appears that the majority of water on Mars exists in the poles in the form of ice. The warmth surrounding the equator prevents the formation of ice at many latitudes. Water on Mars is typically found at higher latitudes, but this recent finding suggests it can be located under the surface as well. The watery region of Valles Marineris is abundant despite unfavorable conditions at the equator. Because of this, it has been compared to the permafrost regions of Earth, where ice is constantly present underneath the dry soil due to lower temperatures. It is still unclear exactly why water has been able to form near the Mars equator and what form that water takes. Understanding the form and conditions of this water may lead to even more important discoveries. This water could expand the possibilities for exploration on Mars. Space crew would likely land around the equator, and accessible water close to the surface could mean greater survival capabilities for the crew. If the water exists in a permafrost-like state, 
it could contain frozen microorganisms or signs of previous life in the form of organic molecules. And if this water is only a meter below the surface, signs of life on Mars might not be so difficult to come by after all. Scientists say that four mysterious signals from outer space are coming from galaxies like ours. Astronomers have discovered strange signals coming from the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Australian scientists, using the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder radio telescope, detected these signals four times over the span of two weeks. The transmissions, originating roughly 4,000 light-years away, near the core of our galaxy, consist of irregular pulses and bursts that scientists have never seen before. During the early stages of planet formation, radio signals of similar frequencies are emitted. These new signals are more erratic than those emitted during planet creation, confusing scientists. Nothing about the signals follow a pattern that has been seen before. The intensity of the radio signal varies randomly. The orientation and rotational direction of the transmission is random and changes frequently. And the timing of the signals cannot be planned. Experts from the University of Sydney have shared they believe the signals are coming from a new type of star that we have never seen before. Ziteng Wang, a PhD student in the School of Physics at the University of Sydney, said the brightness of the object also varies dramatically by a factor of 100, and the signal switches on and off apparently at random. We've never seen anything like it. Due to the variability of the transmission, scientists first believed it could be from a supernova, solar flare, or pulsar but the emissions received do not match with what is known about those phenomena. Still, scientists have no idea what caused the signals. Their hope is placed on a new radio telescope being built within the next decade. The telescope, called the Transcontinental Square Kilometre Array Radio Telescope, will hopefully solve this mystery. Professor Tara Murphy from the Sydney Institute for Astronomy and the School of Physics said, we expect the power of this telescope will help us solve mysteries such as this latest discovery, but it will also open vast new swathes of the cosmos to exploration in the radio spectrum. From discoveries that help us understand the universe to discoveries that make us question what we already know, the vast expanse of space continues to make us wonder. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.